Looks like we got 5% left. Oh, wind's picking up a little bit. What I might do is actually rise that, raise that pole up a little bit more. Not today, I'm pretty tired today, so we'll do that later. What's up? What's up? Happy Black Friday. Just one second, I'm gonna switch you around. What up, what up? Black Friday, happy Black Friday. Next uh, caller gets this. Just kidding. Uh, that was something I got for my, I went to uh, Thanksgiving at my dad's house. Yesterday I hadn't seen him in a while. And uh, the older he gets, he thinks he needs to start giving away all his stuff, but he has like an enormous amount of tools. And he gave me, it's pretty cool. Um, so he, my grandpa who's passed away um, had a ton of tools. And so he kind of inherited those tools. Um, something I was needing here, which is pretty big but as a vice um and this sucker is huge who knows what year it's definitely probably a vintage vice but anyway he gave me that he gave me this come along um he was just in the giving <laughs> he kept saying merry christmas even though it was thanksgiving also, one other thing I want to show you that he gave me, which is pretty cool. Um, and it is, I'll show you here, this rifle. Um, it's a single shot 22, but I remember this thing. Ever since we were kids, we used to shoot this, go out and uh, practice. Um, it's more for target practice. It's a, like I said, it's only a single shot. So you can only shoot one bullet at a time. Um, but I did some pretty miraculous uh, target shooting with that. Okay guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about building a wind turbine. Um, this is video from quite a long time ago, probably like six months ago. And um, the audio was not really good on it. It was pretty windy and you couldn't hear us too well. This is my friend Grease that's helping me out this day. And uh, so <clears throat> this is uh, about uh, just getting the tower set up, which is, it's not too hard once you figure out how to do it. But uh, if you notice, we have these two long, they look like beams, supports that are on the ground. Um, and so those are gonna be the main supports. Um, basically what you do is you build the tower laying on its side and you, uh, you build each side. There's four sides to the tower and you, um, you kind of build one side at a time. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna build one side um, and we're gonna, basically it's gonna be four horizontal boards going across. Um, you need to measure, uh, I think the bottom one is measured up like 39 inches or something like that. You can tell that's what's going on right there. Um, you wanna have the bottom be wider than the top. Um, it was pretty much just engineering uh, just on site, you know. So, um, so what we do here is you uh, start out by measuring up from the bottom. I think we did 39 inches from the bottom and then on both sides, and then we just marked each board and then ran uh, or marked marked each beam, and then we ran the board across there and uh, screwed it down into there. And then we came up to the top, measured from the top down, um, 
I think uh, it's like 30 inches or something like that. And you choose how wide you want your top to be, and then you nail that board down. So you have the bottom board nailed down, you have the top board nailed down, and then um, you're going to nail down your horizontal bar, uh, boards here. And once you get that done, you're going to crisscross them. I don't think I have all the video for this. I'm going to start fast forwarding through all this because otherwise it's just going to be boring looking at it. And then um, we'll see. I'll stop it at certain points that so would be notable. But I'm just going to fly right through this. Um, if anyone has any like technical questions about this, they could comment or write me in the comments about it. But I'm just going to fly through this. Um, but it, there is some good tutorials out there on YouTube about how to build these towers. They're really not that hard. It just it takes a little bit of work to do. So here we go. Okay guys, so here is the completion of one side of the tower. And uh, as you can see that uh, what we did is we did the four horizontal pieces of wood um, at a time, get all the four horizontal pieces put in and then we come through and then we do these cross members um, where they actually bend over each other. So. Uh, once again, these are two and a half by three and a half. I be no, they're two and a half by one and a half boards. That's what they are. Two and a half by one and a half boards. You can use bigger ones as well. They bend a little bit, like you can see here, um, and uh, but they don't break. Um, and then eventually, when the wood dries, it 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 uh, hardens up like that, and it gives more support. So anyway, this is one side of of, of the board and we're going to do four of these and then we're going to nail them all together and uh it's just going to be a repeat of everything like four times so once we get them all all four sides nailed together then we're going to stand it up with the tractor and uh put it in its place where it's supposed to go Okay guys, so what's going on here is <laughs> we had two sides that were exactly the same um, with all the cross members built onto it, the horizontal pieces and the cross members. And we stood each cross, uh, so we had two sections. We stood those up on its side. And when we stood them up on its side vertically, we began to Basically took uh, took all the horizontal pieces, nailed those in as they stood vertically. So we, on top of each other, as they were standing vertically, we nailed them together with the horizontal pieces and then did the cross members. And then, so that, that gave us three sides and then we had to completely rotate it over on its back and expose the bottom side and then nail all those cross members and horizontal pieces in as well. That's probably the best I can explain it. We lost the video for um, the making of this whole part. Maybe we'll find it sometime and make another video, but that's as best as I can explain it. So um, once again, you do the two pieces 
um, with the beams, you do it on the, by themselves separately, and then you stand those two pieces up on each other's side vertically, close enough together where you can start nailing uh, the horizontal pieces on and then the cross members, and that joins those two pieces that you made. And then once you get that nailed on, you have you need a couple of people to help rotate it so it doesn't break apart. You flip that on its back where you expose the one and last side that's not been done. Do the horizontal pieces on that and do the cross members. And then you have your, your tower complete. So that's it for this uh, little picture here. Uh, once again, you can ask me questions about it um, and maybe I can explain it better. Um, or hopefully I can find that missing footage of how we got to this point. But that's basically how it is. And once again, there's other videos out there. Maybe I'll find a link actually and put that in the description so you can actually see how we got this far in the video. Hey guys, so if you haven't noticed, we're digging four holes here. In each of these four holes, there is going to be a concrete block that has a bracket on it that will bolt on to each foot of the tower. And um, this will give it more stability when the high winds come um, and just make it uh, more concrete to the ground. Also in these holes, um, once we get a level here, that's what we're doing with this long level here. We're making sure each concrete uh, block is the same height, um, that everything's level all around. And then once we got that, we're gonna end the holes where these concrete blocks are, we're gonna pour in concrete and let it harden. And then we'll move the tower up onto it and bolt it down. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, we did this on another tower we had and we had great success and it's we've had some really high winds about 30 mile per hour and the tower stood up so by putting these concrete blocks in here it gives us a little more stability
so I've been putting this off for a while now. I've been here four days and I still, uh, I don't know why, but we gotta go up here today. And we gotta get this done. We built this probably like six months ago. And all we had to do, put the wind turbine on and we would have been done, ready to go. We gotta get this sucker up. This wind turbine. This wind turbine has been ready to go for quite some time. And we gotta get it up to the top of this tower. Get it bolted in. And, um, and we're gonna put the propeller on it. And that should be hanging out somewhere around here. That would be right there. Tell you what guys, heights is not my thing and I have to go up there and make some supports to uh, they're gonna be able to hold. The wind turbine's pretty heavy, it's probably like 50, 60 pounds. So I gotta reinforce the top of the tower that it can hold that weight. Um, so I'm gonna have to nail in some cross beams and uh, see if we can get that done without me falling off. But it's a little, uh, little shaky at the top, but I, I think it does need more reinforcement, which is why I'm doing it, but uh, I just hope I uh, don't fall down. to get the pole up there see if I can get it locked in it's pretty nerve-wracking I just it's probably not that high but um, it's making me nervous a locking uh, mechanism so that it won't slip down um, I think it's a muffler clamp or something like that I got it at the hardware store it looked like it would fit what I was trying to do so we'll see how it goes <sighs> forgot my drill It's threaded at the end of another one. I'm gonna stick it underneath, screw them together so I've got like a longer pipe, and then I'm gonna balance it out. By the way, if you guys are wondering where I got my wind turbine from, so the next step, I'm gonna put these on clamp at the top that holds the wind turbine from sliding down the pole. This is a bearing that goes on top of that and the turbine will sit on top of that and be able to spin freely. At the very top there you can see I put a locking mechanism and a bearing there and then 
Now we're going to put the, the wind turbine on. Wind turbine. piece of the puzzle. Let's get this up on there. You guys ready? funny it was a little bit windy when I was up there and then it was making me a little nervous because the turbine was wanting to turn while I was trying to screw everything in and then it died for a second I got everything locked in and tightened down and now the wind is just dead nothing we'll wait a few more seconds here see if it picks up If not, I'm sure it's gonna. The wind will come here. It always does. Battery's going dead on this. Looks like we got 5% left. Oh! Wind's picking up a little bit. What I might do is actually rise that, raise that pole up a little bit more. Not today, I'm pretty tired today, so we'll do that later. But.
I'm just sitting there hoping. <laughs> I can hear the wind coming through the trees. Maybe it'll be enough to get it going. Come on, baby. Give us a little spin. I know you can. Here we go, here we go. Get it. There it goes. There it goes. All right. Check that out. <laughs> nice. That's probably not enough to really generate any electricity yet, but that is enough. Um, I think it has to be going actually six miles per hour before it starts to generate any electricity. Obviously, the faster it spins, the more electricity it makes. Um, so, I mean, I would say you're probably not making electricity until you hit about, like good electricity, until you hit about 15 to 18 miles per hour. That, that would be some good electricity. But the benefit in having this wind turbine is on a cloudy day or at nighttime, you can still be generating electricity unlike the solar panels. So they're a good combination to have together. Check that out, love it.